How much did World War II German camo impact post-war militaries? Well, it's a lot, actually. Today we're gonna to be talking about Taz 83 Alpenflage. At the end of World War II, the Germans thought that it might be a good idea to standardize on just one camo pattern for their entire armed forces. That camo pattern was Leibermuster. But Leibermuster didn't see much combat. However, the factory was located in Czechoslovakia, and post-war, the Swiss went over there and said, mmm, tasty Leibermuster textiles. So they bought it, brought it back to Switzerland, and made this. The Swiss adopted Taz 83 in 1955, and it served until 1993. The idea behind this pattern was universality, so think of it as like a 1950s multicam. Alpenflage has become an iconic camo pattern thanks to its really weird colors. In fact, Supreme bought a ton of it, slapped their label on it, and was asking $600 for a shirt. Luckily for you, these jackets are only 35 bucks, and you can't forget the matching pants 